Good morning. I'm Reverend Anthony Thompson from Holy Trinity Reforming Episcopal Church, downtown Charleston. I want to share with you this morning Psalm 22, second verse. My God, I cry out by day, but you do not answer. By night, but I find no rest. David wrote the psalm as a prayer. Evidently, he was going through a time of tribulation in his life. He was praying because he felt like he wasn't getting an answer from the Lord, at least not at the time he expected. But what David did not know that his prayer to the Lord gave an accurate description of the suffering that Jesus would experience on the cross at Calvary. Now Jesus being God was also man who bore flesh, was tempted, experienced pain, suffering, trials and tribulations just like you and I, but he did not sin. And when he prayed, things happened immediately. The blind received sight, the lame walked immediately, demons were cast out, immediately the dead were raised. But during the time he was nailed to the cross and prayed for God his Father to, be, to rescue him, God did not answer right away. But Jesus had no doubt that his Father would answer him. His prayer was just an urgent appeal to God as if though he was saying, God, I want you to rescue me right now. But God waited for the appointed time and he raised Jesus from the dead on the third day. Even David knew what it meant to, to wait for the Lord. The Lord anointed him as a king at age 16, but he did not become a king until age 30. And like Jesus, David also had to wait on the Lord. You know, we all have to wait for God's appointed time to answer our prayers. And I know that waiting, waiting for God is not easy. You may have been praying to God, your Father, for what seems a long time, and God hasn't answered you yet. And you may be thinking, God, don't you understand that I want you to answer me right now? Don't you see the situation I'm in right now? And so maybe God is waiting for the appointed time to answer your prayer. I don't know how long you've been praying or been waiting for God to answer, but maybe God is waiting for you to give him control of your life or of your situation. Maybe God is waiting for you to just give him your life. Or maybe God is using this time of waiting to refresh you, to renew you, and to teach you how to handle the blessing that he's about to give you. I don't really know why he may have you waiting, but I do know that God will come to your rescue. And when God comes, God will be right on time. So during this Lent season, let's do what Paul tells us to do in Colossians 4, chapter, 2, verse. Continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving. You see, persistent prayer is an expression of our faith that God will answer our prayers. So our faith shouldn't die if the answer comes slow because the delay may be God's way of working His will in our lives. So when you feel tired of praying, know that God is always present, always listening, always answering. Maybe not in our way, maybe not in our own time, but in ways and in times He knows are the best for you and me. So devote yourselves to prayer Expect an answer in God's appointed time, and when God answers, you be thankful because God will hear you and God will answer your prayer. Thank you.